5G race is off to an interesting start to put it simply. Let me lay it out for you. In the red corner, we've got Verizon checking in with ultra wide band. In the blue corner, AT&T with a 39 gigahertz 5G band. And in the pink corner, we have T-Mobile, the 5G champion of the world. Woo! <laughs> So today I'm going over why T-Mobile is kicking butt in the 5G race and why it might just be a moment in time. You're watching Whistle Out TV. If you haven't yet, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and of course, turn on those notifications. I come out with two videos every week and now I'm doing a live video every week on Mondays. So what is 5G? I'll quickly go over 5G in case you don't know what it is. You can learn more about it in these videos up here, but basically 5G is the next evolution in mobile internet, just like LTE, 4G, 3G, and 2G before it. Each generation is faster and faster, which allows us to do more with our mobile phones. Woo! Now most 5G signals are higher frequencies than other signals, which helps your data move more quickly through the interweb. Now some people are worried about 5G signals being dangerous, but I debunk that theory over here and go over it in my video about 5G conspiracy theories. So now you have a basic understanding of what 5G is. So how does T-Mobile's 5G fit into the picture? Where other carriers, 5G signals are super high frequency, T-Mobile's 5G 600 megahertz band is lower frequency, which means it's faster than 4G LTE, but not as fast as Verizon or AT&T's 5G signal. So if it's not as fast, what's the point? Well, the point is that it can travel much further. Now, all my techie people out there, yes, I'm dumbing this down a little bit, but you get the basic gist. The way T-Mobile is setting up their 5G is also why their coverage is so much larger than its competitors. T-Mobile isn't building a whole new network like Verizon and AT&T. They're building off their current network, attaching the 600 megahertz 5G signal to their current 4G LTE towers. This lets T-Mobile quickly and efficiently create a stronger and faster signal than they've ever had before and allows them to be the front runner in the 5G coverage race. Now, I'll briefly mention that T-Mobile has inherited Sprint's 5G mid-band range, but they aren't focusing on that right now and instead putting most, if not all, of their effort into their low band for 5G. So how much 5G does T-Mobile actually have? Now, this is pretty exciting while mutually not super exciting. Here's why. T-Mobile has the most 5G coverage in the country, covering 30% of the United States with their low band 600 megahertz. The only caveat here is that T-Mobile's 5G is not as fast as the others. For instance, OpenSignal, who tested all the carrier's 5G, found the average T-Mobile 5G speed was about 50 Mbps, while Verizon's average speed was 500. So for now, they are winning because more people can access it. However, even as soon as next year, T-Mobile's 5G network could pale in comparison once Verizon and AT&T get their 5G networks up and running on a wider scale. So which states have the most coverage? The top states for T-Mobile 5G coverage are New Jersey with 74%, Minnesota with 63%, Oklahoma with 63%, Indiana with 61%, and Louisiana with 59% coverage. Now, the top five worst states for T-Mobile's 5G coverage are Alaska with zero, Nebraska with about 5%, New Hampshire with 15, Vermont with 16, Delaware with nearly 17. So if you're in those cities, sorry. Now, here are the top 10 cities with 100% coverage. That would be Milwaukee, Beloit, Madison, Cincinnati, Green Bay, Stevens Point, Oshkosh, Appleton, Iola, and Budemore, Wisconsin. These are all cities in Wisconsin. Now, these are the most populated cities with 5G coverage, but in total, there are nearly 4,000 cities that have full 5G coverage for T-Mobile. That's a total of 9,000 zip codes with full coverage. And then there's nearly 30,000 other zip codes with partial coverage. But really, 5G right now is pretty useless. How useless is it, Sherry? Well, 5G might as well be a Chia Pet. It's there, but we're not really going to be able to see the difference it makes for a while. We need more coverage and we need more phones that can access it that don't cost an arm and a leg. But if you're with T-Mobile, have a capable phone and live in one of the top covered states, go for it. For the majority though of us, 5G is still just a fun idea. 
Do you have a 5G phone and have you been able to access 5G? Let me know in the comments, I'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, if you're just like me and you don't have access to 5G, let me know what you think about this new technology and if you're excited for it. Thanks for watching What's Loud TV, I'm Sherry Riggs.